ski trip blip. Wow! For somebody so big, you sure are ticklish, Bodasaur. Operation Dino Boot Build is complete. Whoa! Thanks, buddy. I'm glad you like them. <sighs> hey, Rusty. Ready to go skiing? Am I ever? Check them out. All new turbo powered high speed dual throttle Incredo skis. Whoa, cool. But aren't they a little big for you? For me, way too big. For him, they're perfect. Go ahead, Bodasaur. Try them on. <laughs> The world's first downhill skiing robot dinosaur? Rusty, sometimes it's like you're in my head. <laughs> now he just needs some bodosaur sized ski poles. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Note to self check bodosaur's tail alignment. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just get some bits on the fix. <laughs> Guys, tail emergency, right away. <laughs> Way to pin the tail on the dino, guys. Hey, you guys. Sammy! Who's ready to hit the slopes? Oh, yeah! Whoa, I should have brought a bigger bus. All aboard! Yeah! Can't forget Bodasaur's skis. miles. And just like that, our ski trip is over faster than two scoops in a pizza oven. Aw, <laughs> don't be sad, Bodasaur. We'll figure out a way to get this trip back on track. We sure will. But how? Um... <gasps> With those! Your Robo-Dino's mega skis? Exactly! <laughs> make a perfect bridge across the gap. All right, everyone, next stop, the mountaintop. Good to go, Sammy. All right, buckle up, everyone. <laughs> Okay? <laughs> That's it. Good job. Nice and easy. You're doing it. Just a little bit further. 
about a rocky road. So, this might be a little problem. That thing's not going anywhere. We're talking 15 tons of pure fun wrecker. Come on, you guys. We can't let a massive, huge, ginormous rock put a wrench in our plans. Because we have a massive, huge, ginormous bodosaur. You think you can move that boulder out of the way? Try, buddy. I think it's time for a new plan. Maybe we could pry it away. With what? We need something super long to lift it. What if we use Bodasaur skis again? Wow. Is there anything they can't do? Okay, buddy. Make us proud. <laughs> <laughs> Try jumping higher. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I guess we have to... <laughs> He's flying! Bonasaur, <laughs> watch him out! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Worth a try, buddy. Come on down. I'm sorry, little guys. There's just no way through. I think our ski trip's officially canceled. Oh, oh man. If only we could fly like Bodasaur did. We'd get over that rock in no time. Fly? Hold on a second. You know what would be really, really, really cool? Ice cream? Skiing? Skiing on ice cream? Some ideas, but we've got an idea to help us get over that rock. Let's combine it and design it. If we start with our bus and we add Bodasaur skis, and then use his giant detachable tail to keep things steady, put it all together, and we've got our plan. It looks like this ski trip is officially back on. Time to jet. Yeah! All right. Everyone, prepare for takeoff. All right, let's get Bodasaur lift. Okay, boy, up. Just be a bird that flies in a straight line from now on. Good plan. Thank you. Oh no, how's that car gonna get across? Don't worry, I've built a little extra surprise to help clear the road. You made a grappling hook out of Bodasaur ski pole? Of course. Every school bus copter needs one. <laughs> Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> you 
snow pokes just about ready? Almost. Just have to get Bodasaur back together. All right. Race you guys to the bottom. Woohoo! That should just about do it. Okay. You ready to do this, Bodasaur? What? <laughs> Now I know what a snow cone feels like. Rusty's Creature Catcher. Hi, Rusty. What's up? Aside from you. <laughs> I'm looking for my self-bouncing ball. Have you seen it? Nope. Can't say that I have. I think I rustified it too well. It must have bounced right out of the yard. Mm. Morning, Bodasaur. <laughs> Good night, Bodasaur. <laughs> Why is he so tired? I don't know. Maybe I've been working him too hard. He must be pretty tired, though. He didn't even make it to his bed. Rusty! Help me! Monster! Ah! Quiet, Liam. We don't want to wake up Otisaur. Okay, so I guess you don't want to hear about the monster, then. Monster? Yes! It's huge with huge feet and huger noises, and it's the hugest, huge thing in all of huge town. So you're saying it's big? It's not small. Have you actually seen this monster? No, but the noise came from the woods, and it sure sounded big. So you know what I think it is? A Yeti, or Bigfoot, or maybe even a giant nine-headed chipmunk. Come on, Liam. You know monsters aren't real. Yeah, but I heard something, Rusty, with my own eyes. I mean, ears. If it's not monsters, what's making the sounds? Let's go and see. If it is some weird creature, maybe we can get a picture. Too bad we can't bring Bodasaur along to help us. This could be a giant nine-headed chipmunk, people. How about we take Claw instead? Fine, but I hope he knows karate. Ugh. To the woods. Time to pull. Right here. This is where I think the strange noises were coming from. Then here's where we'll set up our camera to get the picture. But a giant monster isn't just gonna walk up and say, blah, 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 blah. That's monster talk for cheese. We need some sort of bait so we can get the whatever it is to come out in the open. Yeah, it has to be something everybody and everything likes. I know, a triple chocolate chip cookie. Good idea, but where are we gonna get one of those out here? Good question. Let me think on it. Um, Liam, is that a triple chocolate chip cookie? Yup, I call it my thinking cookie. Could we use it for bait? Okay, I hope it doesn't eat the whole thing. Camera's ready. I'll get Claw to set up the bait. I'll set up a laser light grid. Then anything that passes through the beams will turn on the camera. And we'll have a picture of your creature. Awesome! I'll put it on my fridge. So now what do we do? Now we wait. The camera's got something! <laughs> oh man! And that something got my cookie! Photos downloading to my
my tablet now. Ah! It's a blur monster from the planet Blob! No, this one's just out of focus. It's... The creature! And we got a picture of it! Actually, it's a squirrel. At least it's only got one head. Well, Liam, it looks like the only creature out here is... Definitely not a squirrel. That's the sound I heard! I knew it! The creature is still out there! The sound's getting quieter. The creature's moving away from here. Where's it going? Let me use my sound tracking app. Planner's Peak! Let's go find that. Whatever it is. It's just over this ridge. Whatever it is must be inside that cave. Wow, at a time like this, I'm sure glad I'm too little to go in there. But good luck, Rusty. Liam, nobody's going into that cave. We don't know what's in there. What if it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Have you heard the noise it's making? The question is, how do we get a picture of it if we can't go inside? Easy! Claw can go inside with the camera for us. And we'll watch on my tablet. With Claw, I can make sure we see the whole cave. Looks like we've got rocks and... A really huge, monstrous looking monster! We need to find out what it is for sure. But the only way to do that is to go in there and see it, face to face. Actually, since it might have nine heads, I think you mean face to face to face to face to... Okay, Liam, we get it. Wadasaur could go in the cave, but he's napping. Uh, I'm never going to see this monster. Sure you will, Liam. Right after I do. <gasps> You're going in? Yeah, but not the way you think. <gasps> Great idea, Rusty. Let's combine it and design it. I'll start with my go-kart. Then add some powerful steel robot legs to the wheels. Then combine it with claw. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Sleep in your bed. 
<laughs> Is something wrong with your bed? Mm -hmm. I can't believe the sound was just a big, giant bodice snore. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we thought he was sleeping here the whole time. I wonder what's wrong with his bed. <laughs> Bodasaur's bed. Okay. <laughs> There's my self-bouncing ball. It must have got stuck under there. Now you can sleep in your own bed again, buddy. <laughs> oh, what a nice cave monster. Oh, this whole monstery adventure just gives me a great idea. For what? A new comic of my own. Cave Dweller versus Monster Bot. The battle for Spartan Hills. Cool. I love it. <laughs> How exactly do you work this thing? Nest friend forever. Okay. Trees, check. Shovels, check. What about snacks? Hello. Whoa, thanks, Jack. <laughs> I think that's enough peanuts. Rusty, you ready to plant some trees? Yep, we're finally gonna get our Spartan Scouts tree planting badges. I just need to pack the leaf blowers. Bits, have you seen the leaf blowers? What's that? Thanks, guys! G -g guys I'll stop them. <laughs> again, again, again! <laughs> nice landing, Bits. All right, it's tree planting time. Come on! Planting site. This is where we're supposed to meet Ranger Anna, right? I think so. Anna, you here? Did you see something move? Nope. Anna, we're ready to plant oh. some trees. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Um, why are you hiding in a bush? Helps me to think like a plant. And if I were one, I'd want to live there. All right, Spartan Hill Scouts, shovels ready? Ready. Let's get digging. Perfect planting, guys. Thanks, Anna. Let's grab another sapling from the tree. <gasps> Leaping lemurs! Do you see what I see? Oh, a bird eating our peanuts? That's no ordinary bird. That's a scrub jay. Scrub jays haven't been around here in years. I wonder why they're back. <gasps> I have to get a picture. So majestic. So beautiful. So flying away. Come on, let's follow it. Do you see it? Scanning. Wait, up there. It made a nest on the ledge. Well, if it's made a home, maybe it's here to stay. I'd be a lot happier about that if it weren't in such a dangerous place. Look! Whoa! That ledge is really crumbly. The stump and nest might come crashing down. Oh, that poor bird couldn't have picked a worse spot to make a home. <gasps> but 
I can think of a better spot. The new tree we just planted. Nice! But how do we convince it to move? We get it to follow something we know it likes. Peanuts! We're going to need a way to launch the peanuts to the new tree. How far is that, Ruby? Uh, about the length of a tennis court. <gasps> the tennis ball launcher! I have no idea what you two are planning, but I gotta say, I like the sound of it. Let's get some bits on the fix. Crush, Jack, Whirly, we need our old tennis ball launcher from the yard. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now, can you give us a hand loading in the peanuts? <laughs> Buddy. Ready? Now I'll just calculate the perfect angle. And hopefully that scrub jay will follow the peanuts right to its new home. Ready? Aim? Snack time! better. What's it got that our tree doesn't? Oh, that makes sense. There are babies in the nest. There's no way she's going to leave them. <gasps> now we have a whole family in danger. Got any bird-saving brainstorms? Yep. If the birds can't leave the nest, why don't we just move the nest? The whole stump? That might work. I'll drive up there in my go-kart. That hill's pretty steep. You think your super-duper turbo cart has enough turbo to make it? More than enough. Here we go! Jay. You know, a few years ago, when this hill was still covered in trees and the ground was solid, this would have been a great place to nest. Wait, you're saying with trees the ground was solid? Sure. Tree roots are great for holding soil in place. They make a hillside more stable. Ruby, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking we have all these nice new trees? Why don't we just plant them here? Yep. But how can we? We can't step on the hill to plant them. It's crumbling. Who says we have to be on the ground to plant them? What if we plant from the air? Let's combine it and design it. First, we use the powerful thrust of the two leaf blowers. Plus the tennis ball launcher, which can launch way more than just tennis balls. Combined with the trees, we'll have all we need for some perfect planting. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
Customized. Rustified. The Jet Powered Tree Tosser 9000! <laughs> Countdown to launch. Five, four, <laughs> one, go! <laughs> to play it. Copy that. We need a few more on the left. Thanks, Ruby. Scrub Jay's home is safe. <laughs> okay, commencing ground test. I'm coming in. It's a lot more solid. And once these trees grow in, it will be the best nesting ground in town. Now your nest can stay right there, little Scrub Jay, with all your little Scrub Jays. I gotta hand it to you two. Nobody's ever deserved these more. I present your Spartan Scouts tree planting badges. Nice! Thanks. <gasps> Hear that? To lo lo lay, to lo lo lay. <gasps> more scrub jays! Lots of them! Welcome home. Talent show was a great idea. Our next performer is Teeny Terry. Think of a talent, think of a talent, think of a talent. Uh, Teeny Terry, is everything okay? I can't do it! <laughs> I still don't have a talent for the show. We're gonna find you one, all of us. Uh -huh. Yeah! Uh -huh. You can try singing like Princess Flug. Me, me, me. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Singing is not my talent. That's okay. Maybe you can play the accordion like Otis. Uh, oh. Help! Playing the accordion is not my talent either. Okay, how about a juggling act? Uh, uh. <gasps> Oh no! Help! Teeny Terry! Woohoo! Yeah! That was spectacular. Uh, what was? Teeny Terry gymnast! But I didn't do anything. I was just deflating, and that's how I stop myself when no one catches me. All those somersaults and jumps and slides, that's gymnastics. And you're really, really good at it. You mean, <gasps> it's my talent? Ugh. Yes, your talent. The Hotel Talent Show presents Teeny Terry! <laughs> <laughs> It was a cozy little snug of my own, like Princess Flog and Otis. A teeny Terry snug is a great idea, but you should have it on the roof deck where you bird watch. I'd love a snug on the roof deck. Operation Build a Snug is on. To the roof deck. Teeny Terry, welcome to your new snug. Ooh. Hmm, which button should I press? 
Princess Flug. Step inside your dream snug. <laughs> what's wrong? The snugs are what's wrong. They're nothing like what I wanted. You're right. I'm so sorry, Teeny Terry. <laughs> <laughs> the snugs were all wrong. Uh, maybe I don't need a snug after all. Yes, you do. Just tell us exactly what you want. Okay, well, I want this. And definitely this. It's snugtacular. Let's build. <laughs> what do you think, Timmy <laughs> Terry? Is it you? Yes, yes. This snug is all me. <laughs> Teeny Terry, our official to-do list. Ready. <clears throat> Fix Miranda's watering can. Add stuffing and repatch the cushion on the lobby couch. And last but not least, paint Abby's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we have a long list of fixing to do. You said it, Teeny Terry. That's why I've got a surprise for you. A new screwdriver for your fix-it helmet! Teeny-tastic! Cool! <laughs> Thanks, Lex! Let's put your newest tool to use on to-do list item number one, the watering can. Tool time, Teeny Terry! <laughs> uh. All done! Here you go! And now, before we move on with the to-do list, I've got to get a new roller brush to do Abby's room. <laughs> but it's nothing a quick trip to the hardware store can't fix. Back in a jiffy, Teeny Terry. See ya. Hey, want to check out these colors in my room? I've got to get to work. Lex gave me a gift. Now I want to give him one, too. There, the stuffing's all back in the cushion. This will be so much quicker. <laughs> Done. I sure hope Lex likes what we did. He'll love it. <laughs> <gasps> okay, Teeny Terry, I'm back. Surprise! <laughs> the cushion, it's fixed. There's more. Follow me. Incredible! You finished the to-do list. What an amazing surprise. It was a gift, and I never would have gotten it done without the help of all my friends. Lex to the rescue! I see the problem. The little wheel's out of place and now the gears won't work. You'd have to be really small to get into a place that tight. Then it's a good thing you have your super small sidekick, Teeny Terry. Me? Yes, that's a great idea! What if I mess up? You can do this, Teeny Terry. I know you can. Okay, I'm going in. Get big inside the elevator panel, he'll break the whole thing. He can't help it. Every time he tries to fix something, he gets so frustrated. Hmm. Brain spark! That's his problem. He gets frustrated. Teeny Terry, I know what you need. Just count to five, nice and slow, and far away your troubles will go. Ready? I guess. One, two, Phew! It worked! And I'm gonna fix this elevator! 
me, Terry. Happy 
to have my snug back. Thanks, Abby. I'm glad you're happy, Teeny Terry. Superhero Teeny Terry. Never fear, Teeny Man is here. Teeny Man not mega strong. Abby needs to help. Let's let him try first. You were right, Bosley. I've got to help. Hot Rack Stopper, activate. You saved me, Teeny Man. I did it! Great job, Teeny Terry. That's because I'm Teeny Man. I saved them. Awkward. I was right all along. I'm not a hero. Teeny Terry! I just wish we could do something to make Teeny Terry feel like a hero. <gasps> Brain spark! We need to help him do something really super heroic. I have an idea. Follow me. Okay, Bosley, loosen up the wings. That'll make us wobble. And Teeny Terry can save us with his tools. one it is. Let's see. I've got the key to the back door, a uh, key to storage, key to the freezer in the basement. Abby, taking too long. Don't worry, Otis. I have another plan. Hi, Teeny Terry. Hi, Abby. We need your help. If you've got a jam, I'll make it scram. Thanks, Teeny Terry. Bosley, do you have your extendo hand? Oh! Aha! Extendo hand! Can you make this extendo hand come down from the top of the machine? Then we can use it to pull Otis free. Sure. I'm ready to build. Watch this. Ta -da! Here you go, Abby. Thanks, Teeny Terry. Ball. He needs a sport with a teeny ball. Hmm. Ta-da! 
ping pong ball. That's blizzacular. Let's get to the roof deck and cheer up Teeny Terry. Come on. Teeny Terry, leave me alone, please. I think we have the perfect sport for you. Please come out and take a look. I'm too small and every ball I tried is way too big. But I really hope you'll come play with us. Ready to play ping pong? <laughs> Ready. Paddle? A teeny ball? I think I can do this. Whoa, you're really good. <laughs> Thanks. This is the best sport ever. Thanks for helping me find it, Abby. You're welcome. Check your local TV listings for full episodes. Two fix-it fuzzlies. Wow! Rambo's just like Teeny Terry. Now screw an umbrella. We did it. Feels pretty sturdy, but maybe I should tighten the screws a little more. Now's my chance. I'll tighten them. Oh no, Grumbo's help. <laughs> I think Teeny Terry's feeling really left out. Now all we have to do is hang the tire and we're done. I'll hang the tire, Lex. <laughs> Easy as. I'm so glad you're okay. If anything happened to my little buddy, I don't know what I'd do. You still want me to help you? Let's see. Fix the hotel Aww. golf cart. But these are all big jobs. I don't think I want to fix things right now. I'm going up to my snug. Rumbles and I could use your help. Wings and 
floaties. You look fantastic. Let's swim. Another fantastic idea, Otis. Come on, everybody. Jumping contest off the dock. Yeah! All right. The water's great. Let's do it, everybody. Right thing. It's safe to go back inside. Yeah! yeah. Terry's runaway snug. My new snug is so cool. I know I should wait for Abby before I try it out, but I'm too excited. So many controls. I know that's the ejector. Don't want to touch that. Oh, I think this opens the sunroof. Rubbing the dirt. Activate. That wasn't the sunroof at all. Bosley is to give up all my cool stuff. Hang on, Bosley. 
Now let's get you both home. Fuzzly sleepover. Can't sleep with these hiccups. Might as well get some work done. are scary. He ate one of our cookies. He ate a cookie? He is a monster. Smart. We'll make a trail of cookies for the monster to follow. More cookies? Ooh, I could use some milk. Okay, now's our chance. Hi there, monster. Wait. I've heard that noise before. Hmm. <gasps> it's my dad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you were a monster. <laughs> I look pretty monstrous. Go back to your slumber party and I'll get cleaned up. <laughs> Melvin stays over. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Bouncing race across the park. You go, you! Can't sleep and 
Abby. Poor Abby. She tried sleeping near my snug, but it didn't work. There's gotta be a way we can help. Hmm. <gasps> Brain Bar! We can make Abby her own snug. Come on. Judge 
Judge Thorne's favorite things? Yes, little girl. My TV show. Impress me, and I'll be featuring the Hatcher Palace Hotel. I'm gonna show you the most fuzztastic hotel you've ever seen. Hmm. Our elevator operator, Otis, makes getting around the hotel truly magical. Watch it! All fine, but truly, we've seen enough. No, you haven't. Don't give up on us. There's so much more to see. Come on. Okay. Bomber blimp jacket. This is all unacceptable. Come on, Frankie, let's go. Wait, please don't leave yet. Mr. Cameraman, can I help you put the hotel video together? I think you might have missed some really amazing things. Fine, but please hurry. Fantastic! Wait, do you see what she helped me put together? Action. This video is perfection, and so is the Hatcher Palace Hotel. Ooh. Abby's Blizzacular Christmas. Everyone ready for more jolly jingles? What is it? What's wrong? There's a big snowstorm blowing in. We had to cancel the Christmas party. Cancel? Cancel? <sighs> 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 can't come to the hotel Christmas party, then we'll bring the hotel Christmas party to them. Yeah! We may not have Santa's sleigh and flying reindeer, but we've got a grumble sleigh and flying fuzzlies. Yeah! 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 Hmm. Need one more thing. Yes! You are so ho-ho prepared. Light it up. Mo and Bo have Christmas glow. Then away we go. Ears go! On Bosley, on Peepers, on Mo, on Bo! Traditions, and we can get home in time for Santa. Yay! Yay! Hurry, everybody! It's Christmas morning! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Came. Santa came! Yay! Wow! Oh my gosh, Look I love this! Cool! Ding, ding, ding! Love presents me! Cool! Merry Christmas, Abby. We love you. I love you, too. I love all of you, and I love celebrating Christmas together. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Abby! Chinese New Year! Happy Chinese New Year! Uh-oh. <laughs> you made meatballs! Waipo loves your meatballs. Meatballs for Grandma! It'd be so great if she could spend Chinese New Year with us. Waipo is joining us for Chinese New Year. She's on a plane and she'll be here by sundown. What? <gasps> that is spectacular! You know what this means, Bosley? Um, big hugs from Grandma? Yes. And it means we get to make the perfect Chinese New Year celebration for her. Come on! <gasps> Abby! Fuzzies! Oh, this room is beautiful. Oh, dear. Was that a dragon costume? It was, but we messed up and wrecked it. 
I'm sure we can't give you the perfect Chinese New Year's celebration, Waipo. If you want a dragon dance, I bet you can figure out how to do one. Can you help? Of course! Yeah! Ooh, I can't wait! Me neither. Waipo. A snack machine. Aha! No! Snack stuck! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, this stuck! All cleaned up. <laughs> Spotted! Otis is in trouble in I'll get you out, Otis. Hmm. I've got it. If we had the key, we could open the snack machine and get him out. Dad, we need some help. If you've got some trouble, I'm here on the double. <laughs> Do you have the key to open the snack machine? Just gotta figure out which one it is. Let's see. I've got the key to the back door, a uh, key to storage, key to the freezer in the basement. Abby, taking too long. Don't worry, Otis. I have another plan. Hi, Teeny Terry. Hi, Abby. We need your help. If you've got a jam, I'll make it scram. Thanks, Teeny Terry. Bosley, do you have your extendo hand? Oh! Aha! Extendo hand! Can you make this extendo hand come down from the top of the machine? Then we can use it to pull Otis free. Sure. I'm ready to build. Watch this. Ta-da! Here you go, Abby. Thanks, Teeny Terry. Teeny Terry, our official to-do list. Ready. <clears throat> Fix Miranda's watering can. Add stuffing and repatch the cushion on the lobby couch. And last but not least, paint Abby's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we have a long list of fixing to do. You said it, Teeny Terry. That's why I've got a surprise for you. A new screwdriver for your fix-it helmet! Teeny-tastic! Cool! <laughs> Thanks, Lex! Let's put your newest tool to use on to-do list item number one, the watering can. Tool time, Teeny Terry! <laughs> uh. All done! Here you go! Before we move on with the to-do list, I've got to get a new roller brush to do Abby's room. <laughs> but it's nothing a quick trip to the hardware store can't fix. Back in a jiffy, Teeny Terry. See ya! Hey, want to check out these colors in my room? I've got to get to work. Lex gave me a gift. Now I want to give him one, too. There, the stuffing's all back in the cushion. This will be so much quicker. <laughs> Done! Teeny-tastic! I sure hope Lex likes what we did. He'll love it. <laughs> <gasps> okay, Teeny Terry, I'm back. Surprise! <laughs> the cushion! It's fixed! There's more! Follow me! Incredible! You finished the to-do list! What an amazing surprise! It was a gift, and I never would have gotten it done without the help of all my friends. Fuzzly safety drill. This is a safety emergency. Please get out of the hotel quickly and in orderly fashion. There's Gumbles. Looks like he's the last. Thanks for a great safety drill, everybody. And have a good nap, Grumbles. You kept everyone calm and got them safely out of the hotel. You know what? I'm gonna go check the safety equipment. Gotta make sure everything's ready, just in case. 
It's my duty to run a new drill to make sure everyone gets it right. This is a safety emergency. Please get out of the hotel quickly in orderly fashion. Let's go. Still too slow, everybody. Good thing this was just another drill. <laughs> Let's go back inside. Uh, Grumble's glad no emergency. Grumble's need sleep. Everything's shaking. It's a real emergency. I have to let everyone know. This is a safety emergency. Please get out of the hotel with me. <gasps> What's happening? It's an emergency, but no one believes me. I believe you. Everyone, we have a real emergency. Whoa! <laughs> Abby! Can you make sure everyone gets out safely? Better believe I can. Thanks, Teeny Terry. Pogo Spring Shoes, activate. Yeah! Whoa! Thanks, Abby. That noise sounds familiar. Of course! When Grumbles gets super tired, he snores loud. If we prop his head up with a pillow, he'll stop snoring. It's okay, everybody. All that shaking was serious. You did the right thing. It's safe to go back inside. Yeah! The Hatcher Palace Playground. Building a playground will be hard work, but if we all work together, I know we can do it. Me brought stuff to build a playground where everyone can make pretty things, me. Really? Because I brought stuff to build a playground where everyone can run around and climb. My idea better. I think my idea is better. <laughs> Ta da! Sparkle Goose Splash Pool, perfect place to make pretty things. Done. This jungle gym is the perfect place to run around and climb. I'm going to try it out. Awesome! Yeah! Careful, Bosley. We don't want sparkle goo. Bubbles. Oops. Ah! Abby! Help! Pogo Spring Shoes, activate. Are you okay? <laughs> We're okay. The Sparkle Goo and Jungle Gym bars made a tower fort. Walls in here so shiny and sparkly. It's your fault, this. You should have built what I wanted. Places to make pretty things. Why couldn't you build what I wanted? Places to run around and climb. Now Abby and Bosley are trapped. Not trapped anymore. Yay! Yay! You have to come see this place. It's fantastic. Come on. Yeah! yeah! So pretty. So pretty. And look at all the places to climb around.
Bumbles. Now I can go back home. Superhero Teeny Terry. Never fear, Teeny Man is here. Teeny Man not mega strong. Abby needs to help. Let's let him try first. You were right, Bosley. I've got to help. Pot rack stopper, activate. You saved me, Teeny Man. I did it. Great job, Teeny Terry. That's because I'm Teeny Man. I saved them. Awkward. I was right all along. I'm not a hero. Teeny Terry! I just wish we could do something to make Teeny Terry feel like a hero. <gasps> Brain spark! We need to help him do something really super heroic. I have an idea. Follow me. Okay, Bosley. Loosen up the wings. That'll make us wobble. And Teeny Terry can save us with his tools. Da, 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 
Perfect. Just a little peanut butter for our chipmunk friends. Mmm, Bosley delicious. Great idea, Abby. Go get him, Bosley. Okay. Yoo-hoo, chipmunks. Nice juicy acorn here. Nice smooth shell. Jaunty acorn cap. And inside, uh, oh, but you can't catch me. to have my snug back. Thanks, Abby. I'm glad you're happy, Teeny Terry. Teeny Terry's new snug. Moving can, Abby. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. I got stuck. All I wanted was a cozy little snug of my own, like Princess Flog and Otis. A Teeny Terry snug is a great idea, but you should have it on the roof deck where you bird watch. I'd love a snug on the roof deck. Operation Build a Snug is on. To the roof deck. Teeny Terry, welcome to your new snug. Ooh. Which button should I press? Huh? Me build perfect snug me. It is perfect. Perfect for Princess Flog. Step inside your dream snug. Oh. What's wrong? The snugs are what's wrong. They're nothing like what I wanted. You're right. I'm so sorry, Teeny Terry. <laughs> <laughs> the snugs were all wrong. Uh, maybe I don't need a snug after all. Yes, you do. Just tell us exactly what you want. Okay, well, I want this and definitely this. It's snugtacular. Let's build. <laughs> Teeny Terry, is it you? Yes, yes! This snug is all me! <laughs> Teeny Terry's runaway snug! My new snug is so cool! I know I should wait for Abby before I try it out, but I'm too excited! So many controls! I know that's the ejector. Don't want to touch that. Oh, I think this opens the sunroof. Rocket boosters, activate. That wasn't the sunroof at all. Think of a talent, think of a talent. Uh, 
Teeny Terry, is everything okay? I can't do it! <laughs> I still don't have a talent for the show. We're gonna find you one. All of us. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah! You can try singing like Princess Flug. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. Oh. Oh. Singing is not my talent. That's okay. Maybe you can play the accordion like Otis. Uh, oh. Help! Playing the accordion is not my talent either. Okay, how about a juggling act? I can't do any of it. That's how I stop myself when no one catches me. All oh, those somersaults and jumps and slides, that's gymnastics. And you're really, really good at it. You mean, <gasps> it's my talent? Ugh. Yes, your talent. The Hotel Talent Show presents Teeny Terry! <laughs> <laughs> the screws a little more. Now's my chance. I'll tie in them. Oh, no! Grumbo's help! Aww. I think Teeny Terry's feeling really left out. Now all we have to do is hang the tire, and we're done. I'll hang the tire, Lex! <laughs> Easy as... Whoa! Ah! Ah! Gotta save him, Bosley. Come on! I'm so glad you're okay. If anything happened to my little buddy, I don't know what I'd do. You still want me to help you? Let's see. Fix the hotel Aww. golf cart. But these are all big chops. I don't think I want to fix things right now. I'm going up to my snug. Grumbles and I could use your help. Teeny Terry Little, perfect. Yay! 
I don't know what I'd do without my little buddy. Thanks. You're my best pal, too. Teeny Terry's trouble. Otis! Elevator shake and buttons pop off! Lex to the rescue! I see the problem. The little wheel's out of place and now the gears won't work. You'd have to be really small to get into a place that tight. Then it's a good thing you have your super small sidekick, Teeny Terry. Me? Yes, that's a great idea. What if I mess up? You can do this, Teeny Terry. I know you can. Okay, I'm going in. Yay! 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 I can do it. <gasps> I see it. Fantastic. Can you get it back in place? I think so. Get big inside the elevator panel, he'll break the whole thing. He can't help it. Every time he tries to fix something, he 